Welcome back to Wevotech Academy. I'm Mr. Pawan Bhuya and in this video we will be learning how can we create the registration and the login page of this web admin panel using PHP and HTML. All right. So uh, for the time being we won't be using uh, PHP. At first let us design uh, both the pages using HTML and later on we will create or we will convert the HTML pages to PHP. So let's get started. Let me open my Sublime editor. So this is uh, these are all the quotes which uh, we have uh, created to design the index or the login page of the website. Now I will be simply copying all these codes and I will create a new page and the name of the page will be, uh, at first I will be saving this page as register.html, control V, save. Now I have saved all the codes uh, in a new page called register.html. And now I won't be touching all the parts, but just inside the body of this HTML page, I'll be simply editing some of the codes here. So here is the logo and we don't have to do anything with the logo. And let me open this uh, register.html page, register.html. So this is the register.html page. Here I'll be uh, creating some more fields like your, your username, your password, confirm password, mobile number, email ID, etc. So here is the logo and I won't be touching uh, this part. Uh, just below the logo, we have a line called login to your account. Here, I'll be replacing this line with, uh, with a new line called register a new account for free. All right. Okay. Register a new account for free. So here is the username. And instead of writing the username, uh, I will be writing it as your name, your name, and here your name. Then, okay, I'll be duplicating this quotes, and here I'll be writing your email. Email will be the username. Right, and uh, input type email, and uh, name of this input field will be your email, placeholder, email ID. Then we have this field called password, and I'll be creating one more field, and uh, the name of this field will be confirm password, confirm password, and in the placeholder. I'll be writing it as confirm password, confirm password. And we need one more field called phone number, your mobile, type equal to number. And here I'll be writing it as your mobile. And in the placeholder, I'll be writing it as 10 digit mobile number. Okay. Let me reload this page here. Register a new account, your name, your email ID, your mobile, your password, and confirm password. But we can see there are some more spaces in between these fields uh, your name and your email, as well as your mobile. So let me check the 20 pixel, 20 pixel, and 20 pixel, and uh, here it's 10 pixel. So what I will do in the padding of your mobile, in the top padding of your username or your email, I'll be writing it as 20 pixel so that all the gaps of all the fields uh, looks similar. Okay. Okay, so this is the register page. And uh, since the register page is a bit long, so what we'll be doing, we'll be reducing the padding top of uh, this section of this page. So here, instead of 10 pixel, I'll be writing it as five pixel. And now it's, it's look uh, quite cool. So here is the login now button. And instead of the login now button, I should write it as,
register now. All right. Let me reload this page here, register now. And uh, in this section, uh, no account, register new. I shouldn't write this line because this is the registration page. And in the registration page, a duplicate link for the registration should not be given because if I click on this link, the same page will get appear. And so I'll be removing this line here. Div class call MD6. I'll just be deleting this line. And here, instead of forgot password, I'll be writing already have an account. Login now. Right. Let me check. Already have an account. Login now. And instead of giving it or instead of taking it to the right, I can also align it in the middle. So here I'll be giving call MD12 and text align will be center and uh, the link of this page will be login.html all right so it's looking quite good now and if i click on this page uh, okay it should be index.html because we have used the login function or we have created the login in the index page so uh, if i click on this link the login page will be appeared and if i click on the register now button then the registration page will get appeared and if i click on forgot password a new page will get appeared and the name of this page will be forgot password so now i should create one new page called forgot password let me save this page as forgot password.html and now here i will be copying the index.html part and i will simply paste it in the forgot password page now what i'll do here I'll write it as forgot password. Or I can also, all right, let it be like that. Okay, let it be forgot password. And now here, I should have only one field called uh, email or user email. Your registered in the placeholder. I'll be writing your registered email ID now. I can delete all the other fields which we have created and here I can write it as submit now. Let me reload this page, your username or your registered email ID. Here I can also write it as your email ID. And if someone uh, puts his or her email ID in this section and clicks on submit, we can deliver him a new uh, password or we can deliver him a forgot password link all right so i can now remove these two links here because these links are no longer needed so what i'll be doing i'll be simply deleting this enter section and let me check it yeah it's looking quite good now and yeah we can also adjust the titles how can we do the titles here i can write it flutter PHP forgot password flutter PHP project the first letter will be capital okay it looks nice and here in the title I can write it as instead of forgot password register And in the index, I can simply write Flutter PHP project. Okay, let me check the titles now. Okay, Flutter PHP project. If I click on register, the register Flutter PHP project. And if I click on login, okay, Flutter PHP project. And if I click on forgot password, forgot password Flutter PHP project. All right, so in the next video, we shall be learning how can we create the dashboard of this project using simple bootstrap framework. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe this channel.